I was telling Gavin about it, like, oh, I think I'm gonna do this video. Penny, pack it the fuck in. I've been wanting to do more vlog content that's not just Ask Megs, and I actually talked about in a previous vlog um, wanting to do videos of my outfits, and I took a bunch of video this month because I've been doing one second every day, and I thought, you know what, I have this genius idea. I'll put it all together in one big January wrap-up, and I'll do a monthly wrap-up of my life. And I was telling Gavin about this idea, like, oh, I have this great idea. So I'm actually just going to take all the stuff that happens in the month, and then I'm going to talk about it. And Gavin was like, yeah, people do that. It's like a popular thing that vloggers do. So some people would see that as like, oh, damn it, I didn't invent a new thing. I see that as me and some other vloggers had great ideas all separately, and together we've made, a, well, I haven't made anything together, but um, also we made great, I don't I came up with an idea, apparently already a thing. So here we go. This was my January 2016. So uh, I wrote some notes to help me. Ooh, I can't, I can't show my notes actually because there's a neighborhood watch warning on the back. It says where I live. So just gonna put the notes down. Maybe face up so I can read them. So I wrote some notes down and the first note on my sheet of paper is took photos of my butt. So let's talk about that, shall we? This month I took a couple photos of my butt. I added to my collection from late December where I took the Star Wars butt photo. Um, at this point I should just release like an ass a day calendar because we should just keep the party train going, right? Why not? It's a good idea. I actually got featured on Playboy's website again this month a couple of different times, which is very exciting for me. I am a huge fan of Playboy. I shot with them. It's one of my favorite shoots ever because it is just so, so beautiful. And um, I love that they share my stuff. I feel honored every single time. I'm sure you guys are sick of me getting excited about it. I'm sure you think I'm doing the T-Swift with like, oh my god, I'm in another article, but um, honestly I feel that way every single time. I'm like, oh my god, it's Playboy, it's my face, and that's my app. It's so funny. Speaking of things that I love to shoot, which is a weird segue because I was talking about my ass, and I do love to shoot photos of my ass. Um, one of my favorite things ever is coming back this month, uh, well, this month, February, but I shot a promo for it in January, and that is Free Play. Free Play is an amazing variety show that I co-host on Rooster Teeth's main channel now. It's on YouTube. So exciting. We're finally on YouTube after all of the angry comments that we were on YouTube. Now we're on YouTube. So we shot what is probably my favorite video promo for anything I've ever done because I got to basically be like a dramatic soap ac ac opera actress. Soap opera actress? That's hard to say. It became like this dumb idea. We were like, what if we did like a telenovela? And then it became a thing. So it was really exciting and really fun to shoot. And um, we had a lot of fun. And I hope we get to release the bloopers soon because basically the bloopers are... Uh, Muriel would just spout this amazing Spanish because she speaks Spanish fluently and um, I would just laugh. Like, I don't know what about Muriel being like this like domineering Spanish speaking like sexy lady it makes me laugh so much but it's like I don't, she's so attractive it makes me laugh. So that was really really fun and please if you guys are interested at all in checking out free play um, please check it out on the Rooster Teeth main channel, Thursdays and Saturdays, roosterteeth.com if you're a sponsor, Wednesdays and Fridays. It's just such a joy to get to do that. And speaking of free play, it's a segue. I got to travel to Australia this month to shoot some free play episodes, so those are going to be coming up. It was really, really fun. We got to do all sorts of different stuff. We went lawn bowling and uh, built sandcastles on the beach. Um, we went to the zoo and saw a bunch of animals. I met a quokka. Quokkas are so cute! They're like the cutest animal ever. And the one that we met was called Poppy Lou. And she was so sweet. She, they said if you lay down, she'll come up to you. And you could take a selfie with her. And so I laid down and I got a bunch of really cute selfies. She was like interested in smelling my mouth. So I got these selfies that looked like we were kissing. So cute. And then I thought I'll roll on a video. And basically what I caught is the aftermath of Poppy Lou biting my nose. <laughs> she nibbled my nose. Poppy Lou, I'm sorry I startled you. Oh, so cute. Gotta kill it. 
in my face. Yeah, she's like, ew, I touched her dirty makeup face. Still the most adorable animal ever. She really didn't hurt me or anything. She basically, like, placed her teeth on my nose and then just fucked off. She just, she was not, she didn't like what she tasted. Apparently my nose tasted like, well, I assume it tasted like sweat and makeup, um, but she didn't like that. So then she, she had been next to me the whole time we were in there, and then she just off into the distance and... She, if she could have, she would have flipped me the double bird, I feel. And po my Poppy Lou love and heart was broken. Of course, while we were in Australia, we went to the Laser Team premiere down there. It was very, very cool to see all the fans so excited to see the film. My boy looked sexy and stylish as always, and we had a really, really good time. It was exciting to meet all of the fans that we could, and um, overwhelming because there were so many of you packed in a small space, but um, it was really, really fun, and I'm really grateful for everybody coming that as well to that as well. I'm so grateful I can't talk today. Or ever. I feel like I say that every fucking video. I can't talk in any videos. Ever. We did all sorts of other fun stuff uh, in Australia. We went to RTX Australia, of course. We shot some stuff there for free play and for the no and oh, I can't even like, I don't even know where to begin with RTX Australia. I feel like I can make a whole video about how freaking awesome it was. Um, I had this amazing guardian, Tila, who was my PA all weekend. She got me where I needed to go and made sure I had food and water and um, she was really, really, really sweet and the fans were amazing and incredible and I just, it was the most amazing weekend. Honestly, it was so incredible. So thank you if you were there uh, coming to RT for coming to RTX. <laughs> I can't even talk because I'm so moved by emotions. So if you were there, thank you very much for coming. Um, it was amazing and hopefully I'll see you guys next year. Australia wasn't the only trip I took this month. I also went to Las Vegas. What? 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 Let's see obligatory Vegas dance, I guess. I don't know. Um, I went because Gavin and Dan were being honored at the New Egg Awards for being complete and total YouTube badasses. And I got to go and hang out and lose a bunch of money to a Wizard of Oz penny slot. I wish I could say that that was not, like that was just a joke, but it's so real. I posted up at this Wizard of Oz penny slot. P.S. I'm like an aficionado of penny slots because they're the best. You actually spend more money on them because you gotta play all the lines or like a good amount of the lines. So you end up spending like 80 bucks, I mean 80 cents a spin. It'd be really hard to spend 80 bucks a spin. Um, but it's fun because they have the most mini games that you get to play in the slot machine. Really fun. The boys looked awesome at their award show. They got these really cool golden statues. It was really, really fun. And um, Newegg let us check out CES while we were there. So I, it was my very first CES. I've never been. It was really exciting because I just heard so many great things about CES. I saw so much amazing technology, including thin televisions and thin televisions and curved thin televisions and thin televisions that turn on pedestals. Amazing. The other thing that nobody tells you about CES is that they have a bunch of models set up for people to try out the cameras. The creepiest fucking things ever. There were two model trains. Why are they so obsessed with model trains? I don't know. And also a really creepy doll display. <laughs> Step up your game, CES. Have girls jumping on trampolines or something people want to see that's not miniature dolls that creep me the fuck out. So that was my CES. And of course, I couldn't talk about my trip to Vegas without mentioning that I got to see these guys. That's right, that is Daft Punk's top cover band, One More Time. <laughs> uh, but I would just like to point out that Daft Punk doesn't even really perform anymore. They have dudes who perform for them. So technically, I've seen just as much Daft Punk as other people who spend like a bazillion dollars a ticket to go see Daft Punk have seen. So. I feel pretty good. And honestly, they could have just played an iPod with no dudes up there and I would have danced just as much. It was a fantastic time. And finally, the whole reason I started taking footage for this damn thing, my outfits. I did not do a good job of taking video of my outfits every day. I did a pretty good job at the beginning and then it just, it, it, I got busy and then I was in Australia and I didn't even take Vegas outfit video, the and it just, but I got some, so take a look. guys, that's it for this 
first roundup of January. Thank you so much for tuning in. I don't know why I keep doing this. It's so weird. I never hold my hands like this. Anyway, thanks for tuning into the roundup. Let me know if you guys like this, if you want to see more or what you guys want to see. I, I really, at this point, I'm just kind of haphazardly collecting footage of things and talking about what happened in my life that month. Um, but I mean, I don't know, tell me what you guys think and what we could do. Cause I think this is kind of a cool idea to do like sort of a roundup thing. And apparently a bunch of other people think it's a cool idea and they already do it. So it's fine. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And speaking of subscribers, we are going to do that fear stream this month. I am thinking probably the last week of February. Let me know if that seems like a good week for you guys. I'm going to pick a day and we're going to watch Fear. It's going to be awesome. I'm really excited. And I will see you guys next time. How are you?